All right, him showers. I'm back. Him again. Uh, yeah, I know I've been kind of slacking off. I gotta find another supply of t-shirts. Um, anyways, yeah, one of the greatest supervillains to ever live. Screw you if you think otherwise. I mean, he controls like metal and iron. Like you got iron ore and metal inside your body, man. So technically, if you thought about it, he could control humans and make you explode and implode and burst and stuff. Yeah. Um, gotta love it. Dark to light, dark to light. I did something a little differently because, yeah, I've been playing around and you know how you can actually mix colors? You can, but when you get lazy or you really feel like you've been working on your technique, um, shade with the darker color, just do like a light fade. Um, you know, like don't even worry about mixing it in between the color. As you can see now, if you look at his hand, to the right of the screen uh, filled in the hand with um, like purple or violet they actually look the same as far as the airbrush goes um, and then I actually filled it back over with uh, fluorescent vi purple violet I don't know which one it is I forgot don't quote me you'll see that later though um, right now working with my own mix of dark red now for this one though I actually did um, the gradient shading and I still did two layers of shadows um right now I'm doing my deepest red and if you look in some spots down in the arm um, you can see a little bit of my dark red here's that purple that I was talking about it's actually you know like it's not a purple purple but it is it's considered fluorescent but to me I definitely like this a lot better than the um regular transparent purple that you get filling in you know chest pieces um the cape etc etc um like this picture because you know it kind of showed off the um the metallic angle i don't know if that makes sense to anybody uh but it sounded good so just believe it and believe in me and we in business yeah then you can see exactly what i'm talking about as far as the uh the orbs on his chest yeah filling in the cape you know that was pretty basic um leaving space i didn't do white highlights for some spots some spots i did me personally i mixed my own light purple again mixed colors have fun now if you can see in here this is what i was telling you um i did my deep red that's what i'm gonna call it yeah deep red the one that kind of looks blackish well not blackish but like dark brown and then what I'm doing here is my dark red because I didn't want just, you know, a big red picture. So I have, you know, a layer of fading and gradients with the deep red. And now I'm doing a layer of fading, shading, gradients with the dark red. So when I come back and just put the regular transparent red on top, you can see the difference in the levels. Um, really helps to kind of define stuff and shadows one thing is you know this is off of a comic uh, i didn't do the line shading that they normally do so you know hey had to improvise now you can see where i'm filling in the transparent red and you can see the differences in between the three actually if you're looking make sense all right great um face colors classic peach flesh tone um then I mix my own level for the darkest a little bit of brown in there not too much because it darkens the faces up um, you know depending on the person's skin tone yeah makes sense all right got me cool um, pretty much doing my highlighting in now like I said I used white and I didn't you know for the red you know, I've seen yellow used a couple times it wasn't the look I was trying to go for. It's not a bad look, don't get me wrong, but you know, at the end of the day, I just prefer a, a white light to hit it because if it's gonna hit one side, then it should hit every other side. Art lesson 101. Here's what I was filling in. I was telling you about I mixed my own light purple, so I'm filling in to balance out, give it that um, lit effect, lighting, lit, lit. Yeah, great, cool finished results as always um then as always check me out ndvlimited.com al seville on facebook al seville on twitter bam there you have it 
him show, him signing out. Um, hey, yeah, if anybody knows any t-shirt people, holler at me, inbox me, so, because I need a new brand, and my brand ran out. I'm out.